Okay, hi guys. This is Emerald W for Rain of Gaming. I am co going to do my posts a little bit differently today, and I'm going to try something new by talking to you guys like some of my fellows do. And we're going to go over two things. One, what makes a support, and two, some unusual supports. And then go from there and you can figure out probably some other unusual supports. I've got one in mind that I think they could be kind of entertaining, entertaining and maybe useful in the right situation. Hopefully after this, this you kind of like it and if, want me to continue doing some more, more type, more videos in the future. Um, first, the question is, is what makes a good support? Um, and the question I kind of like to start with is, if the enemy team is level 18 and I'm level six and with no items, can I be useful in team fight? And if the answer is yes, then you have a chance for being a useful support. I take for example Janna. Janna has four abilities, an AoE knockup, knock up, a slow, a shield, which wouldn't be useful in this case, but it, it's there, and then also an AoE disruption. I mean, those three abilities right there make her a useful support, and then here's her passive. So just right there, I can count three really useful abilities without me needing any gold or, or levels. So she, that makes her a good support. This is part of my problem with Karma. I love Karma, but all of her abilities to be useful really need AP, so that just she doesn't work as a bot lane support in that case. You could make her a mid support, but in general, that's why I'd, she's not very good support as it is right now. But one, so now that we know what a kind of a good support usually ends up being, let's kind of think about what kind of supports we could get get that would be really unusual or uncommon. Well, uncommon supports are probably ones that you that will work, that you just don't see them very much. Example is Morgana. Her abilities are perfect. I mean, she's got a binding, she's got an anti-CC shield, and she's got an AoE stun. And w and passive don't mean much if she's in the support role, but she she can totally work, and she's useful, useful regardless, and we know that some people have actually run it, run her with, say, Draven, bind them, kill them with Qs. Um, you can also include fiddlesticks in there. Uh, to note, normally I don't think about numbers, numbers for supports being useful, but his Crowstorm ultimate actually has really nice base damages. So just by getting up to like level two ultimate, he can still add a lot of damage, even though it's really not, not a very, very uh, strong ability compared to AP fiddlesticks, just because the base damages are so high. But he does still have an AOE silence and uh, this fear. I mean, this ability alone is incredible. I don't think many people really understand just how amazing Terrify is. I mean, think about a Terrix stun with no travel time and lasts longer. And so you really kind of get to understand why Elements really likes, likes his support fiddlesticks. It's really powerful. And I really actually think that this is one that a lot more people should use, similar with Morgana. But uh, some for something unusual, I, I was figuring, Tash once made a post about using a Jin Zhao support. And I got to thinking, well, could you run Jin Zhao as a support? And well, I think the answer is and you could. And it could be, and I mean, not be the best option. There's, pro there's other better options for killing people. But this, it is hilarious, I think, how it could work. Because if you think about it, would he be useful without any items? And his challenge alone reduces armor by 15%. That could be useful for any for anybody the AD is attacking. He's got a knockup. Well, that's useful. He has a slow. That's useful. And then he has an ultimate that's basically a Janna ultimate where he just knocks everyone away. So you could use this a lot of different ways. So immediately we have a way for Jen to be useful without needing any items for damage. In fact, the way he's being built in jungle is tankiness and CDR. What do supports build? They build tanky and they build CDR. So so. so other than levels, you're going to be levels and less gold than jungle gen, but still, that's pretty much how it would work. And if you think about it, if the enemy team was, or enemy bot lane was something like Ash and Sona, they do not have any kind of escape. So once you audacious charge onto them, they have no choice but to either fight or flee. And they can't really flee because they don't have great disengage. And if you land your knockup, then your AD could possibly in, come in for a kill. That's not even counting the bonus damage both of you are getting from the from his challenge passive. So you could do a kind of kill lane with Jin. You can also combo combo Jin with Leona to do what do what some people have done and do the double bruiser bot bot in an attempt to counter counteract an AD. 
like with like they talk about with Jarvan Jarvan Leona. Well, you could do Jarvan or Leona Gen and probably get the same kind of effect. Uh, in fact, interestingly enough, I wanted to look up this range on his charge, and his audacious charge range is 600. So immediately, unless your name is Caitlyn, Caitlyn or Tristana, Shana or Kogma with his active ability up, as soon as you see Jen, you can't attack him before he atta before he can charge in. And once he's charging in, you've got to deal with the three talent strike. And if you don't have an escape, uh, a dash escape like uh, Graves or Ezreal, then there is an actual real good chance that he could score the knockup and you could die. And so as a result, it's just problematic because the, one of the things to remember too with some of these unusual supports, like you may have heard of Volibear or Maokai support, is because they're fighters or junglers, they have better base damages and better base stats than the AD carries. And so when, the, when you engage, oftentimes people like to ignore the, the support and go for the AD carry because the AD carry is the source of the damage most of the time. But in this particular case, if you, you almost need to go after Jin or the other tanky support because they're going to actually probably be doing more damage than the AD at this point in the game because they're more going to be more powerful early. So, and if you don't deal with Jin and he's the one who scores the double kill, most people are like, oh, it's on the support. Well, in this case, if Jin comes back with even with more items, even just something as simple as like a Doran's Blade, that's problematic because he will wreck you. And he will snowball that lane, lane against you. He may not necessarily feed his AD, but he'll be able to really kind of snowball it against you. And so you'll lose lose more and more farm and gold as a result. So I, it, it, is, it isn't possibly the best choice, and I know that. But I do think it could be fun in the right situations with the right setups. So if you're up against someone without a dash or an escape, you could try running, running Xin Zhao's support. And it could very well work. And I'm, I just hope none of you do it in ranked. And I bear no responsibility if you're like, Emerald told me to. So go ahead, go try it if you want to really try something odd. Because I'm not entirely certain that this wouldn't work in the right, in the right situation. Um, but also just looking for other unusual supports, you can always look for mages. That's kind of how we all got Zyra support, is because Zyra is packing an enormous amount of utility, utility in her kit. We're for, and she, that's why she's become more of a support than a mage, just because most of the reason you'd pick Zyra, you can also get, get that for being a support for being support Zyra. But you can even do something like Sendra support. I mean, it's not as good as other options, but you, she still has a slow, she still has a knockback and a long range stun, and once you hit 6, she still has the massive burst potential that she would have normally as a mid laner, she, because just by relying on the base damage of her ultimate, which is really quite high. So you could use her to try to do a level 6 snowball effect, like if you had another powerful powerful early game, well, game AD, like maybe Tristana, as soon as you both hit 6, Basically, one of you scores a stun or a slow, and then you just all in and they die before they can do it. And also being magic damage, it all helps counteract some of the effects of the Tarek we all see every day. In fact, one of the things I want to go over is... Actually, while I'm here, I might as well go over two other things. Um, one, I do not like Lux support in any way, shape, or form. Um, I firmly believe that Morgana support does everything Lux support does, but better. And ha that's been true for a while. Because... Yeah, the only difference between the two bindings is that her binding will pass through and hit the person behind it, but I'd rather have the longer dis the longer duration on the binding that Morgana has. She also has the anti CC stun, while this is a weird it's a weird weird uh, W. I mean, it can get really strong on AP Lux and actually protect a lot of damage, but support Lux is not is not really going to be leveling this, and it's just not the biggest thing thing to worry about. So it's it's wonky, it's a skill shot, I don't like it, I never have. AP Lux gets away with it just because she's building AP and it gets a lot stronger. Um, Lucent Singularity is a nice little AoE slow, but um, when you compare the ultimates, it's like, yeah, she gets burst at level 6 on support, or I can play Morgana, which has burst at level 6 and a bunch of utility later when she's not getting AP. So... Lux really is a mid. I mean, I just don't think there's any reason to pick her. Oh, I guess you can also make the argument for checking bushes, but um, all the advantages of Lux kind of vanished when we realized Zyra support, because she will do everything Lux does pretty much, only better. The only thing she can't do is shield, but who needs that when you can kill kill the enemy faster without needing any 
any AP because they're plants that deal damage based on their level. Um, and the last thing I think I'll probably go over is countering Tarek. I know Tarek is probably the most popular support, and she, he probably still will be afterwards and because of how simple he is. Um, and I think there's a couple things that pe support players might want to learn to try and counter him. One is Leona. Leona counters a lot of the other aggressive supports and passive supports just because of the amount of damage, damage this applies from her passive and the amount of stun and CC she's got. She is a really, really useful support and will snowball lanes hard. Now, she can get snowballed against, but if they're picking Tarek, you're not too worried about being poked to death. So you can go all in, and she could very easily win, win the engagement, and it's all magic damage. So Tarek's, she, Tarek's defenses don't matter. And if you combine her with someone like Tristana who's mo and Corky, or Corky, who's both magic damage, damage heavy, you can get around a lot of Tarek's bonus defenses and just blow through them. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the couple of the target topics I wanted to cover cover and go over. There's a lot of different options out there. I mean, I've heard of Galio support. I actually played a game against a Rengar support. That was really interesting. He because of the early, because of the early game power power, he actually managed to win the lane early, but we came back after a while while once my support stopped getting close to the bushes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there is there's a time and a place for for unusual supports supports with the right with the right combinations against the right people like i could totally pick Jen against misfortune if the other uh support has almost no way to really peel apart from maybe their ultimate like i'd pick if it was mf sona i'd pick i could pick Jen and it would work great so that's that's my topic for today hey i hope you guys like it